In my middle school, in eighth grade, when I was 13, I made a bold move that shaped the future of my leadership. And later on, I realized that being bold is essential for a leader. It's very interesting that today, uh, a video brought to my attention that reminded me exactly when I was preparing to record this video. As you know, this is a continuation of the leadership qualities or leadership uh, principles uh, on leadership lessons series that I'm giving to you uh, almost every week, one video. At that time, I was sick and tired of being shy and not being able to go in front of, at least to, in front of my class to talk about something that I was passionate about. In the whole elementary school, I was very shy. I couldn't talk to people. When I got in middle school, I pushed myself a little bit to open up and talk and go in different clubs in, in the school, uh, like scientific clubs and like extra curricular activities and stuff. And in eighth grade, I decided to make that bold move that I made and it was very, very important in my life. I decided to participate in a contest, in a writing contest, which was nationwide. The school prepared the contestants for energy like uh, OPEC, which is about oil and some other topics. However, when I got to the, to the place that it was in the capital of our province, I'm from the province of Kurdistan, uh, west of Iran. And at that time, Iran, I think, um, had 26 provinces. Now it's 31, something like that. Uh, and uh, the contestant, uh, all the contestants had to go to the capital of their province uh, to get the subject at that time, the, the topic, and write about that uh, in the room that was designated uh, for, for that contest. So I went there and I got the topics. There were two topics. One of them actually was about OPEC, uh, that I was prepared somehow for that. And the other one, was about the role of the young generation in the future of the country. And when I saw that, I'm like, that's it. I'm going to write about that. I was very passionate about that. And I wrote uh, an article. And in our province, my article got the first place. Nationwide got the second. The point is, I was bold enough to make that move and that bold move shaped the future of my leadership. I became the president of students in the last two years of high school in entire medical school, which is seven years in Iran because we go uh, from uh, high school straight to a major. And uh, later on in many workplaces, that I worked at. And today, it was very interesting that it brought to my attention a video that went viral, I think five days ago or something like that, from a student, a 13-year-old student from California who was um, preparing for a speech uh, that was kind of contest again and that was for being a commissioner uh, of patriotism and the spirit of school or school spirit, something like that. I don't remember the exact title. And it, it was very interesting to me. When I saw it, I'm like, wow, that is very interesting. I did the, the similar move at that time when I was 13. And that's why I uh, wanted to talk about that on this video, which is um, another video in the series uh, of uh, leadership lessons or leadership principles. 
let's take a look of a short um, episode of uh, his speech which it was done in front of his house he is very cute and very bold to talk about that and uh, later on um, there was an interview uh, with uh, Trace Gallagher uh, from Fox News with this young man let's take a look at uh, these short videos and I'll be back to talk about boldness my love for America is my motivation for running for commissioner of patriotism in school spirit. It is an honor to live in this country. Sadly, some people take their citizenship for granted. Whether it is disrespecting the people who protect us or eating nachos during the national anthem at a sporting event. Many people recite the Pledge of Allegiance without understanding its meaning. It, it's kind of amazing. Jimmy, you know, you clearly are a strong young man. Do you regret standing your ground and saying that you wanted this patriotic speech to be there? I do not regret it at all because I know that I have a lot of people behind my back and I have so much support and I know that I stood up for what was right and I don't get how anybody could think that what I did was wrong and how standing up for America is wrong. Yeah. So. Has this made you stronger, Jimmy, do you think? Oh, for sure. This has made me stronger. And it shows how, like, my beliefs aren't crazy. They're, everyone isn't, not everyone, but a lot of people are in support. And this has for sure strengthened me. As you see, and probably you know, even before this video, that boldness is an essential quality for a leader, for a great leader. If you are bold, you can change the history of the leadership of your whatever you're leading your company your organization your state your country and it's very very important to pay attention to this quality as you know i'm talking about the leadership lessons or leadership qualities or principles but this boldness is very very important to pay attention it, to it and I hope that you are bold enough to make a good change in your leadership style if you are a leader right now or you will become a leader in the future just keep in mind that boldness is essential to your leadership and it's extremely important to be bold enough to make some changes or even to do an overall changes in your company, organization, your state, your country, wherever you are a leader of. Hopefully this will help you to become a great leader or a greater leader in the future. If you get some value out of this video, please go ahead, give us a thumbs up, like the video, and please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it before. Uh, please go ahead, click the subscribe button, and please share with your friends and family members and your coworkers, your colleagues, people in your community. Uh, I do my best to grow this channel despite of a lot of difficulties from YouTube or other social media because when I talk about some sensitive topics they try not to show my video to the audience even to the subscribers which is very unfortunate however uh, I, I rely on you my supporters my audience my subscribers uh, to help me to make this channel big enough up to at least 1000 subscribers then I can do live on YouTube and I turn it to a podcast and I'll bring up many uh, leaders from different fields of business and other fields it's not only about business it's about organizations it's about companies it's about politics it's about uh, theology or religion or whatever it may be from different fields, from different point of views, because I'm not limited to one point of view. However, I'm a proud US citizen and 
I uh, talk about uh, many qualities that a U.S. leader must have. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and share this video with your friends, family members, co-workers, colleagues, people in your community. And please subscribe. And uh, if you uh, get some value out of these videos, give us a thumbs up and like it. Thank you. I appreciate you. And see you on the next video.